Cryptocurrency is the new paradigm. The blockchain technology will change the world. Okay, too many coins with no purpose. I will invest carefully, but only Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Monero, and IOTA. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist now. I will patiently hold my coins for five years at least. F this crypto carpet scam I'm selling. Thanks to the comment section yesterday, I learned two very important things. Number one, what is going on with my tree? It's very distracting. I don't know. I'm going to try and fix it. I know it probably still looks a little weird, though. Se and, no <laughs> and number two, I learned that you guys really like Cardano. I happen to ask you, what coins would you buy if it was only limited to three? And then we got answers like ADA, Cardano, and Charles. Nice and diversified. The highest upvoted comment, Simple, by Cardano. All right, guys, I get it. I'm changing my name. It is now Cardano Daily. All we're going to talk about is Cardano and just Cardano memes, of course. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. But in all seriousness, I do recognize that there is a big demand from it from you guys. So I will give greater love to this project in the future. But for now, let's move on. Charlie Lee is at it again. The man who predicted the China ICO ban before it happened. The man who warned us on December 12th to expect a minus 90% multi-year bear market. The man who sold all of his Litecoins near the top. Also happened to predict the flappening happening this year. What is the flappening? That is where Litecoin becomes more valuable than Bitcoin Cash. Now, I'm not trying to suggest he's a guru or anything like that. Everyone this year is looking either extremely smart or extremely dumb. But in both cases, even a ton of research, you're still going to end up rolling the dice on any predictions. But overall, what this flappening means, I mean, what, what's going on? How close are we at the moment? It keeps fluctuating. Right now, it's happened. But, um, you know, it could change. But... Either way, this is pretty devastating for the Bitcoin Cash team. It's pretty devastating for the project that tried to kill Bitcoin once upon a time and had many people believing that that was not only an inevitable, um, no, not only a probable outcome, but inevitable. The community at that time was so, hold on. There. The community at that time was so toxic. I'm glad it's not that bad anymore. I like Bitcoin. Core shill. I think it'll scale in future. Brainwashed by core. But if you are looking for some reassurances, do not worry. There is a Reddit user by the name of Scoop It Up, personally vowed to make an effort to keep the Bitcoin Cash chain alive and even become the lead dev of it if it so happens to become worth a penny and everyone has left. What a hero. That must be extremely comforting to bag holders. Now, don't take my jest too literally, okay? The corporations behind Bitcoin Cash and SV will not go without a fight. They are just biding their time for now. Devs are taking Bitcoin Cash in an interesting direction. I think they're far from dead. Just going through a brutally rough time right now. I just bought a coffee for 45.8 Bitcoin Cash with a zero confirmation instant transaction, and I'm living the dream. <laughs> So, in some YouTube news, on the 13th and 14th of December, many accounts saw their subscriber numbers fall because YouTube had decided to remove spam accounts on these days. Now, what's a YouTube spam account? Well, scammers might want to create multiple accounts in order to win giveaways, uh, manipulate comments for their own agenda, being able to upvote the comments that they want. Cardano? What the hell? Or simply to sell them to a YouTuber who's looking to look bigger than they actually are. So if you've ever wondered how many YouTubers artificially grew their subscribers because they bought subscribers, we actually have some statistics for you. Blockchain influencer reference after December 14th purge. Number one on the list is a crypto YouTube channel known as Crypto Chemists. I've never heard of them, but they had 90,000 subscribers before December 14th. They then lost 64,920 subscribers. They are left with just 25,000, a 71% loss almost as bad as Bitcoin. Now, apparently he has censored the like and dislike button on videos and censored his exact subscriber count and deleting comments. I'm not surprised. Then we go down the list. I, I legitimately haven't heard of many of these, but how many did we lose? Well, well, Crypto Daily, actually on one of the lower ends, I lost 175 subscribers being less than a percent difference. Let's take some other channels. Data Dash 
lost a thousand, box mining a thousand, altcoin buzz a thousand, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, casting your mind back to early this year when uh, everything was golden and everything smelled of flowers. But the YouTube comment section was full of scammers with the same name and logo as the YouTuber themselves posting, send ETH to this address and you will get back more than you send. Yeah, that's what they legitimately did. So many of us had to ban loads of those guys. So I think that's one of the main reasons that we have seen a bit of a fall for YouTubers, but uh, there are multiple reasons. It doesn't necessarily mean they bought subs, apart from <laughs> crypto chemists, of course. I'll leave this linked below if you want to check it out. I just don't know why I wasn't more popular with the scammers. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, just before we end, I actually want to ask you guys a really important question, because you were really helpful with the last one. So, I have a YouTube itch. I am feeling, and I have been for the last six months or so, wanting to start a second channel. Now, it wouldn't be something that would replace this one. No, I'm still going to be doing daily cryptocurrency videos. But in my spare time, I want to start making something else. So, the question is this. If you were to see non-related, non-crypto related content from me on another channel, what would you like me to, to do? I have some ideas, but I'm interested in hearing your, your guys' thoughts. What would you like to see from me on a second channel? All right, that's been it from me. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.